In the summer of 2004, at the entrance to Burger King in Richmond Hill, Georgia, a man woke up with no recollection of himself. He was not wearing any clothes. No documents or personal belongings were found with him either. How he ended up in this place, or at least what his name was, he could not say. When passers-by found this man, they were immediately sent to the city hospital. He was given a temporary name, Benjamin Kyle, under which he still lives. Kyle refused to eat or talk. He tried to keep his eyes closed at all times and did not like being touched. After a while, he spoke to the nurse. He called her over and told her that he had lived in the forest for 17 years. When the hospital employee began to ask his name, Benjamin said only what was given to him already here. After eight days in the ward, Kyle is completely out of control. He started throwing himself at the nurses, waving his fists and spitting. He demanded a priest, and then called him an imposter. The doctor diagnosed him with catatonic schizophrenia. The doctor found it odd that Kyle's mind was too clear for schizophrenia. To understand who Benjamin Kyle is and where he came from, first in the state, and then throughout the country, they carried out a major information campaign, but it did not bear any fruit. Kyle is on the federal wanted list. Now he is in a legal vacuum. He cannot get a new social security card, he cannot open a bank account or a line of credit. Without documents and without education, Benjamin could not find a job for a very long time, until one businessman who heard about him on TV took pity on Kyle and offered him the position of a dishwasher.